and just about every person I meet invariably asks once they know I'm a realtor, what's the real estate market like? And those of you who've known me for quite a while, you don't mind asking me either. I don't mind telling you. Well, we got June numbers in, so let's have a look at what those tell us about the Atlanta real estate market. First, the good news for potential sellers is the average home sale price rose to more than $335,700. That is the highest average price for the Atlanta market going back at least 12 years. Now, that could just simply have more to do with the kind of homes that are selling in this particular economy, but it also brought the market's median sales price up to an all-time high as well, just north of $277,000. In short, buyers are spending more. They're paying more for homes, and with inventory so low, historically low for summer months actually for this market, that means that sellers are able to command top dollar. They're able to command multiple offers and then seek the highest and best offer and take it. So my for sale by owner friends, I call you guys FISBOs for short, FSBOs. Anyway, you're probably sitting there all exasperated going, well, why isn't my home selling? All right, here's the truth. Most home buyers don't even see that your house is for sale. It's the truth. That's because most home buyers, the overwhelming majority, are actually working with other real estate agents. And real estate agents, especially this time of year, with so many buyers to work with, we've got to hit the one spot we know the most listings are on, and that's the multiple listing service. It tells us everything we need to know about a house without having to call somebody to ask them that. So most of the time, the home buyer is only going to see the listed inventory that we send them, and they're going to get more than enough to choose from. And more often than not, that means your house never gets seen by a potential buyer. Now, that's not to say that you can't sell a home by yourself with that 12 to 15% of the purchasing pool out there seeing your home. What it could mean, though, is that that other 85 to 88%, well, they may have liked your house, too, and they may have offered you more money. You could be leaving money on the table. Let me give you an example. I was talking with this guy who was uh, selling his house here recently, and he decided to drop his home price by 2.3% to generate a little bit more interest on his home. Well, he's trying to save 3% by not listing with a real estate agent, so that 0.7% may wind up actually costing him more. Here's why. See, the data shows that the sellers get, on average, 98.6% of the listed price. Now, my FISBO friend at that figure stands now to only get 96.37% of his original asking price. In his case, it comes out to about $18,000, all to avoid paying $14,000. My FISBO friend could be losing $4,000 by not just listing with a real estate agent in the first place. Okay, so I got a little off track there. Suffice to say, the June numbers tell us that the Atlanta market is still very hot. Plenty of buyers, not enough homes for them to look at. So, if you've been on the fence about putting your house on the market, now may be a great time. Listen, we don't know that school's going to start back in August, but chances are school's going to start back in August. And most parents want to be in their new home or have sold their old home and into their new home by the time school starts. Well, the month of July is the last month to do it. Call me if you have any questions or hit me up. Follow me at Ron on the Real at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, or email me ron at ronontheReal.com.